You are looking at the crew for our next adventure. This is Wilson, Elsie, Kai, Allie, and me, Captain James. We're going to look for treasure, guys. There's treasure all over the place. You just have to know where to look for it. Captain Kai is one of the foremost treasure hunters for beachcombing, and uh, he's going to teach us how today. Hi, right, there be treasure, mate. Yes. <laughs> I like that. Let's load up all this stuff. We got all the camera gear going in the dry bags. We've got the puppies. Oh, We've got extra water for the puppies. We've got everything to make the puppies comfortable. Nothing to make the humans comfortable. All right. All right life jackets on. Let's get. Okay, so we can't start the engine. We were supposed to leave like an hour ago. And uh, I have been kind of like doing a mix between like walking around and cursing and actually trying to figure out what's wrong with the problem. I took the switch panel apart. We just weren't getting the alarm and weren't. I tried to start the engine, which I've never had any problem with. This engine's been beautiful. But now when I push the engine button, it's just like nothing at all. It doesn't even click. So after about 45 minutes, we decided to check this thing. It's the uh, ground, right? Now check this out. I don't know, hold this in my mouth so I can't talk, but what I'm, <laughs> what I'm gonna do is, um, I'm gonna show you the wires and how they're crimped onto this, because one of these things is making the alarm sound, so that means that one of these things has a bad connection. Or either that or the post that goes into the starter motor has a bad connection, which that's possible too, because I really wrenched on this starter, but I have a spare starter, so. Worst case, we, we, we have to we change the starter. And best case, I have to cut a couple of these wires and redo the clamps on them. Halfway worst case would be trying to redo this clamp because these are like hydraulically pressed on. You see that? Yep. And they Thank sell this thing that you can get for your boat that's like a, it's like a mini little guillotine thing with like a big freaking dip on it. And you just hit it with a sledgehammer and you can actually do that yourself. But Cutter. it's about this big and they only last for like, you know, Two maybe jobs. a couple of jobs. <laughs> and then they just end up breaking because you're hitting them with a fucking sledgehammer. <laughs> But anyway, I'm gonna do this real quick. <laughs> okay, you ready? Ready. Okay, coming over 30. Okay, let her go, just a little. Okay, go. It's still so hard to do. It's just a big cup of water. Good, right there. I'm gonna go a little closer to the land, okay? Yes. Yeah. Doing six knots. Yay! Right near the beach. Elsie, come here. Okay, let's put this on. Come on up. So this is take two, day three. It's been a little stormy, a little cloudy, a little windy. We couldn't make it to the uh, beaches we were trying to get to before. So we're gonna try again one more time and uh, hopefully we can make it this time. Found what we're looking for in life. Call 
looking for in life Call us crazy but things are finally right With you and I the future is bright So far, so good. Found a few marbles, the biggest red I've found in a long time. Everything here is completely jewelry grade. It looks like an old house or something fell off these cliffs a long time ago, and so stuff's just been wearing out forever, making it really frosty and really pretty. Um, I think we're gonna try snorkeling in a minute too to see if we can find any marbles under the water. Hoping we have some good luck with that. Yeah, Allie, what you got? Two marbles, pretty good. Let me see your treasure. So many treasures. Got a nice marble. Let me see. Ooh, pretty. Sweet little yellow piece. Oh, what would that come from? I don't know, just like art glass or vessels. Some people have vases in their house like that. Oh, that's nice. Nice little red, white, and blue marble. Oh, I've got a nice turquoise piece, just like the ocean. I like that. I got one of those too. Look. Ooh. <laughs> the day isn't over yet. Cool.
So even I have found some treasures. Look at all this stuff. Oh man, this is good stuff. Look at that. That's such a beautiful piece of, of sea glass. So the sea has just tumbled this into oblivion. Used to be a bottle or maybe a piece of chandelier or something like that, but now it's cool decoration for my boat. And these guys make some really cool jewelry out of it. Let's go back and see. All right. This might be a little loud because we are on a boat, but we are back to the boat and we are going to see our haul of treasures. Yeah, let's, let's do, it. do it. Come on. <laughs> That's the most big piece you got, bro. All right. Oh my gosh, you got so much. Oh yeah. That is crazy. We pick up a lot. Wow, that's like three pounds of glass. What, <laughs> why did you pick this up? I don't know, I thought it might come in handy. <laughs> or maybe extra just, spring. Yeah. I just picked up anything that I thought was like slightly pretty and most of them are white. You guys are way better at this than I am, obviously. Look at, look at, my, look at my pile, it's like sad over there. Let's just look at you guys' pile. <laughs> it's a great pile. Was today like a good day for you? Yeah, oh, today was a good super day. good day. That was a really cool beach to find. There was a house like literally falling over the hill. It looked so old. We saw brick walls that were all like coming apart and like they've been in the water for a long time. So we knew it'd be a really good place to check out. This is probably the best piece I've found. This huge. Oh, this red. Huge red, yeah. Oh, no shit. That's an amazing find right there. Pretty, pretty cool. Would you put that into like a, a necklace or something? It's pretty big for a necklace. Yeah, it would be a big necklace, but I don't know. That's so bad. Could work out. Looks neat. Yeah, that's a super rare piece. It's probably from a anchor bottle. They had, uh, Ruby Royal, Royal Ruby Red bottles from the Schlitz Company. And they were only made in like the 1950s and 1960s. So, probably one of those. Bottle bottoms or something like that. Tell me some stuff about what you got. Hmm, I got two good marbles. A little cat's eye marble. I really like this. It's like jewelry grade yellow, which is pretty rare. Wow, that is pretty cool. It looks like a like a starfish or something. Yeah, it'll make a really nice necklace. This is a pretty good a red. Oh, that's a nice red too. Like a bunch of little reds as well. Yeah, good day for reds. A few beads. What else? What else? What else? Mm. What about the greens? Do you guys don't like the greens? You, nobody. Oh, is I give all my greens to my mom usually. Really? <laughs> yeah, because she likes to make uh, like trees that she glues to canvases. They're really cute. Ooh, let me see that one. Yeah. Look at the colors on these. So many different colors. It's more like an aqua. Yeah. This is the gray she was telling you about. Oh, neat. Um, it's like a teal colored as well. It's like a lighter aqua. And these are called sea foam. I like those. Yeah, and then some of this is called pirate glass. And what pirate glass is, is it looks black when it's on the ground. You just think it's a rock, probably. But when you put a light under it, it could be any color, basically. Um, they made the glass super thick so that whatever was inside of it would stay protected from like the UV light. So it's almost black. What they did is they mixed iron slag into the glass mixture, and that put it super dark. And then they made it really thick on top of that, and it kept it really strong. And uh, so, so most of these bottles you find are from like 1700s, 1800s. No way, why, 1700s? Yeah. yeah, man, that's why these are the most worn piece you find. They're all perfectly flawless because they've been in the ocean forever, man, just rolling around. Wow, so some of these little pieces could be like more than 100 years old? Oh, yeah. Oh, easy, yeah. You guys are just picking out the pretty pieces and putting them in front. <laughs> <laughs> we kind yeah. of just sort out and try to remember what we found. Our favorite. You forget when you're you know, there at the beach and then you come back and surprise yourself a little bit. But it's so cool, they're just little jewels made by the ocean out of, you know, man's mistakes. I love it, man. And then this is called bonfire glass, so a lot of times before it gets thrown in the ocean, um, glasses get melted in a bonfire. And so it'll mix colors together and it'll get a crazy kind of pattern to it. So you see it's got like two different colors. What about this? What's this? Yeah, and so um, these are from old gin bottles made of earthenware, and they were uh, made by the Bulls Corporation. Uh, Bulls still makes liquor today. They make it out of Amsterdam. So we find lots of these pieces. They got words on the side that says like Amsterdam, um, half liter, Lutz Bulls. And uh, they still make the bottles just like this to this day. So over 200 years they would make them like this. And this is the mouth of one, which is kind of neat. 
I found a piece that says poop. No what? way. No way, it says wow. poo. That's awesome. <laughs> it's, it's the best piece in the world. That's pretty good. It's my favorite piece. <laughs> okay, so how old is this one? So you can tell by the size of this, there's no line. So this wasn't like pressed together. This is a blown glass ball. You can also tell by what kind of mouth it has. It's, it's blown. So this is definitely over 100 years old. They haven't blown glass in a long, long time. This thickness and this darkness. Probably older than that though. So now we've collected a few pieces of driftwood while we were out and we're going to make some jewelry. Can we see the driftwood that we got? Oh, for sure, man. Found. Ooh, that's a cool one. That's like an old 2x4. Mm -hmm. This is the one you found that was floating on the surface. Oh, yeah. I was thinking we could like put glass cool. in it. Oh, yeah, that's a good piece. It's like a piece of hardwood that's been in there a long time. We're going to uh, go and see what we can make with these and we'll be right back to you. Oh, that's cute. Nice. I love it. Nice job. That was quick. That was like 10 seconds. Boom. Lucky Sailboat. Ball, <laughs> this could be your display piece. You know, like this is all the colors you could get. You want me to put a rainbow on it? I'll yeah, it. put a rainbow. This is mine. See the little sailboats in it? A bunch of sailboats. Mm -hmm. This one's got a blue sail. Uh, this is Allie's and, and Kai's together. It says love all. <laughs> it almost says love. <laughs> this is Allie's piece. I like this piece. And this is Kai's piece. But is this, does this count as, as your piece or are you just laying crap out? Oh, uh, no, I was, I was going to start on a second piece. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got a sale. That was fun. So let me know if you guys like this sea glassing thing and I'll do more of it because I like to find it. It is a lot of work and it's hot in the beach, but I mean, going to the beach and searching for treasure is super fun. Right, guys? Did you have a good day? Pretty good Great day. Great day. Good haul. Good, day. good haul, yeah. Great haul. All right. Good to go home and sort it all out. And do it again tomorrow. Peace. Bye, Bye guys. Bye. my people thank you for watching the video if you enjoyed it please mash that like button and if you'd like to be notified when i put out new content please consider subscribing as always this is a people power production so big zingaro thank you to all my patrons you guys are awesome i love you all if you guys would like to support these videos you can go to www.patreon.com slash sv zingaro that's sailing vessel zingaro all right till next time peace out